So we've almost got the grey water system all finished. And here we have a clean out. And then we're going down, we've got about 2%, well it's a bit more than 2% slope, probably 4, 5%. There we've got another clean out. And then in the bottom of the pit, we've leveled off the ground and then you've got um, the bit of brick on the outside for, for the barrel to sit on so that when the earth is soft it doesn't sink in and then the tile in the middle is so that when the water comes out the pipe it hits the tile and then disperses so you don't get a build up of solids there as well they they come off here it is all finished we've got um well i've got the tube siliconed in that should be enough to just stop earth from getting in and uh, the the earth around it will hold it in place and i've got a clean out an inspection another uh, small inspection tube here and then running all, all the way up closer to the house i've got another inspection tube i noticed after <laughs> after gluing it that this inspection tube should actually be the other way around so that I can get the tube um, if there is ever a blockage I could put a, uh, a wire up through here and then unblock it here but we can go through the other side over there if there's ever a blockage we can come in through here um, and unblock it from there is Luna inspecting not work you look alright Luna fine so so hi there we're today we're gonna do a surge test for our grey water system so Luke's gonna pour um, about 35 36 liters of water into um, the pipes where our kitchen sink is gonna drain into so um, he's gonna pour them into there and we're gonna follow the progress of that water as it comes along these tubes and it goes into this grey water trench that we've dug. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have a look at what happens when the water starts coming through. Hopefully we'll be able to see something. We're today we're testing like 36 litres, which is probably gonna be more than is ever gonna come through at one time from the kitchen sink. Um, but so we're just checking to see whether um, you know just to see what happens and see whether we have any issues that come up before we bury the barrel completely and enclose the grey water system. Have you poured all the water? Yeah it's done. Oh. Okay so the water has been poured through there's not a lot of exciting things to look at <laughs> in terms of reaction. It hasn't exploded. It hasn't exploded and Currently, there's no seepage from around and about, but that's... But you can't see it yet. So. We, no, we can't see anything coming up. Um, so that's a success. So, yeah. So the barrel isn't full. No, I mean, means. no, the, and, in uh, fact, the water has all just been... Drained out. Disappearing as it's been coming through. There's been no... There was never any... Um, there was never any volume of water that was staying, so it's all seeping away quite happily.
Here's the grey water trough all finished. There's the first clean out. The red pipe is a pipe that we're going to pass a tube along for the grey water for the uh, washing machine that's going to be out here. And we have two sectors for the washing machine. So we can either send it out here, which is going to come out over there, or we can send it out here, which will feed this grey water trough here. We have the first clean out. And then the first one of these two tubes, which uh, once the earth has settled, I'll chop off and stick a, a tile on top. The first one of these is the, uh, the clean out, the second clean out. And then this one, you can't see anything, just a dark tube, is the actual grey water trough itself. So, with some help from my friends, we got it all buried in about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, that's great, that's done. One less thing to worry about.